Switching gears, a visit to the Lewis and Clark Caverns is a unique opportunity for Southwest Montana, but it does come with some challenges. This week in Fish and Wildlife, we show you how a partnership with some AmeriCorps, AmeriCorps volunteers is making the caverns available to more people than ever before. This week in Fish and Wildlife, sponsored by your local Montana Toyota dealers. Thursday morning, time once again for This Week in Fish and Wildlife. Uh, we're on the road. We're at uh, Lewis and Clark Caverns State Park. Joining us this morning, Rio Armstrong. Uh, Rio, you've got a great little partnership program going on out here that gives uh, folks a chance uh, to see the park in a little different way. Tell me a bit uh, about this partnership. Great. So Montana State Parks AmeriCorps program started in 2012, and they kind of target four main areas as goals to improve um, wherever they serve. One is a community outreach. Uh, another is to build volunteer capacity to help serve the people that are visiting the parks. Uh, they also try to improve park lands. So at Lewis and Clark Caverns, that means a lot of trail work and weed remediation. Mm -hmm. And then their last goal is to increase um, education outlets. And here at Lewis and Clark Caverns State Park, we have a unique opportunity to really see that growth. Um, we have, uh, of course, the main thing that's unique about our park is the cave. Mm -hmm. Lots of visitors come up to 65,000 a year to visit the caverns and we have found that we're not meeting the needs of everyone who's visiting. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of people who can't do the classic two mile, two hour cave tour. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of stairs, lots of bending in half, one slide, and that's just physically impossible for some people. Mm -hmm. So the AmeriCorps program is targeting those people who couldn't do that daily tour. Mm -hmm. Four times a day this year, they are offering a tour that goes down this lower exit trail that's level. They're seeing the biggest room, it's the most decorated, mm -hmm. and then they're coming back on that level trail only doing about a dozen stairs. And truly someone in a wheelchair could see that major portion of the cave. Mm -hmm. And so to put it in perspective, um, three years ago, three summers ago, we couldn't offer that. And in a busy June day, we couldn't offer that to anyone. Uh, last year, when we first started that program, we served almost 300 visitors. Mm -hmm. And this year we did almost 700. So that AmeriCorps program is really targeting a need that we need at Montana State Parks. Yeah, that uh, partnership, it seems to me that uh, you're opening this uh, opportunity up to folks that, like you said, it would just be virtually impossible to see the caverns uh, uh, without that partnership. I, it just doesn't happen. Right, and so I think that's, exactly what this program was made is what could you do if you had more people in the parks and so these people are serving us well. Uh, if you want to become involved in that you want to participate in that how do you go about doing that? Yeah there is a, a connection uh, just go to Montana State Parks that web page has it uh, we're opening up for two kinds of service contracts next year a 1700 hour one and a 900 hour one and they're going to open up in just a little over a month so just go to the web page yeah and if uh, you want to participate in the tour and, and be a part of that how do you do that so you just come directly to the park it's first come first served uh, you sell tickets and, and you just go on the next one that we can meet your needs mm -hmm. the paradise tours are offered at 10 30 noon two and four, but come a good half hour early, they seem to be popular. <laughs> uh, been really popular this summer. You were telling me the uh, numbers are doing very well here yeah. at uh, Lewis and Clark Cavern. So last month we did almost 10% uh, higher than the year before for sales of tour tickets. So definitely a, a good visiting spot. That's phenomenal. Uh, Rhea Armstrong joining us this morning uh, at the uh, Lewis and Clark Cavern State Park. Uh, Rhea, thank you very much. This Week in Fish and Wildlife was brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places.